Even in the face of numbers like those, the three commissioners of Piscataquis County are thumbing their noses at the state's mandates for businesses and public spaces. Mandates they say Governor Mills should have consulted the legislature about. New Center Maine Sam Rogers spoke with two of those commissioners today. A resolution of protest for Piscataquis County posted on the county commissioner's Facebook page and website Thursday. The commissioners wanted to be on record saying that we don't believe that the way the governor has approached the lockdowns has been successful. Piscataquis County is divided into three districts. James White is the commissioner of District 1, covering Guilford and the surrounding towns. Andrew Torbett presides over District 2, home to Dover Foxcroft. District 3 includes Greenville. Wayne Erkinen is the commissioner there. There's more than one voice in the state. We vote, we vote on our representatives and our senators, and we depend on them to speak our peace. The commissioners say small businesses and restaurants are hurting in their county, which is why they wrote the governor very early in the pandemic to voice their concerns, but did not hear back. We only requested to have our voices heard. A spokesperson for the governor tells New Center Maine the administration has committed more than $250 million in grants for small businesses and continues to answer questions for lawmakers. In addition to the more than 150 public briefings, the Maine Center for Disease Control and Prevention has held since the beginning of the pandemic. Some Piscataquis County residents disagree with scientific claims made in the resolution. I find that to be disheartening. Robert Keniston wrote a letter to the editor of the Piscataquis Observer about the resolution. The former Foxcroft Academy teacher says commissioners calling COVID-19 the Wuhan virus is concerning for future international students looking to attend the school. A, because of the terminology and B, because of the debunked anti-science rhetoric. Rhetoric claiming mask wearing causes respiratory disease and pneumonia. I have not seen a peer-reviewed scientific study that, that tells me that that fact is Disproven. So we asked the director of the Maine CDC about the claim regarding masks and respiratory disease. Every single word in the sentence that you just uttered is false. The county commissioners will sign this resolution Tuesday for official record. Sam Rogers, News Center, Maine. Now the third commissioner, Andrew Torbett, who also signed the resolution, did not return our requests for comment.